Hello, class. Good evening. Hello. Hello. How are you? Can you guys listen to me? Yes, yes teacher. Good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Great. Great to hear that. I'm doing really good. Thanks so much for asking, Daniel Reynaldo. Thank you so much. Cristina. Hello, guys. Ruben, Narciso, Ana, Elizabeth. And Cristina, I see that you connected twice. I don't know. I have Cristina two times connected. Or maybe there's, I don't know. So you're laughing, something happened. No problem. Uh, Ana Elizabeth, Nick, uh, Marlene, and Norma Carolina, right? So welcome, guys. It's already um, eight. So we are going to start with our class. This is class number three. So thank you so much for being connected on time, OK? So I'm going to start by checking the attendance first, OK? So let's see, the first one on the list here is, uh, let's see, Ana Elizabeth Alegria. No, okay. Angel Narciso. Present teacher. How are you, Narciso? My teacher. Very ready? Good. Ready, I'm ready. Nice, nice, nice to hear that, okay. Great. See, Claudia Karina. <laughs> Claudia, no, okay. Problem, N number four, this is uh, Cristina. Cristina. I can see Cristina connected, but maybe she's having trouble with her connectivity. Okay, uh, then we, hello. How are you, Cristina? I am fine. Okay, good. I'm um, too connected because cell phone and computer. Oh, you are connected twice because of that. Okay, okay. No problem. No problem. Okay. So, Daniel Antonio Luna. I'm here, Peter. Thank you so much, Daniel. Okay, next one. David Antonio. I think David is not connected. And then we have Eric Arnoldo. Eric. Present. Eric is not here. Thank you so much, uh, Anna. Thank you for uh, reporting. Hi. Hi, okay. And then we have Gabriela Guadalupe. Present teacher. Thank you. How are you today, Gabriela? Ready? I'm fine. Nice yes. to hear that. Nice, nice to hear that. How was uh, your day at work? How was it? Busy, tiring. How was your day at work? Tired. <laughs> it was tiring. Okay, I imagine. It's Tuesday. <laughs> okay, so let's keep going. Next one, Herson. Is Herson connected? I think Herson is not connected, right? Herson. Okay, then we have Jesus Antonio. Jesus, no, right? Uh, next one, Jose Ruben. I think it's a Ruben. Thank you, Ruben. Thank you. Uh, JC. Okay. Oh, he's there. Good. Linda. Linda is not connected, okay. Uh, uh, then Maria Julia. Thank you so much, Maria Julia. And then we have Marlene. Marlene. Is... Okay, okay, great. She's there. Then we have Marvin. Marvin? No, not connected, okay. Norma Carolina. Present, teacher. Thank you so much. How are you, Norma? I'm fine, teacher. Nice, nice to hear that. How was your day at work? Um, and now I'm going in my bus. Oh, you're going? Teacher. Okay. okay, no problem. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> no problem. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for connecting. Okay. Okay, Rafael, Rafa. Present, teacher. Okay, thank you. Rafa, you ready for this session? 
Yes. Nice, nice to hear that. Ready. Okay. Awesome. Reinaldo? Present teacher. How are you, Reinaldo? Fine, thank you. Nice, Reinaldo. We missed you yesterday. What happened? I have any problem yesterday. Oh, okay. I hope you are okay now and that you can, you know, uh, be ready to learn something new. Try to watch the class because it was recorded and it's already on the platform. Okay, try to see it. Okay. Okay, Xiomara. Xiomara is not connected. Okay, problem. And then Adrian. Georgina. Jairo and Jose. Okay, so, well guys, thank you so much for connecting. Hey, Jesus, you are there. Okay, let me go ahead and update. Good evening. Good evening, good evening, Jesus. Okay, let's see, let me go ahead and make that. What happened to you yesterday, Jesus? I, I was very busy. Oh, you were very wow. busy. Okay, I imagine. Yeah, sometimes, you know, things like that happen. Okay, try to watch the class as well, okay? Because it's been recorded. Okay, so yesterday we were talking about uh, this topic of prepositions plus gerunds, right? Do you remember? So who would like to give an example using a preposition and a gerund form? Okay, what do you remember from yesterday's class? Let's see, maybe Linda. Linda, wow, Linda, I can see your pet is on the background. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh. Any example that you can think of from yesterday's class? Know. How how many how many time did you do you take for for learning English? Oh, okay. That's a good one. How much time, right? Because it's, how it's, it's yes, how much time um, did you take for learning English? Okay, yes. Okay, that's a great question. Okay, it takes, it takes time, right? Okay, that was a good question. Anybody else who would like to uh, participate providing an example, you know, prepositions plus uh, gerunds? Let's see. Daniel, any, any example that comes to your mind? Whatever comes to your mind, as long as you use the, the correct structure. Personal questions or maybe from yesterday's class. Um, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, no problem. Let, I'm gonna give you some time. Uh -huh, try, please. Is responsible for keeping. I am responsible for keeping clean the ramp. Okay. Example. Yeah, that's a good one. That's basically telling me, you know, something about you, right? And your uh, daily activities at work. Okay. What else comes to your mind? Christina, Ruben, JC, any example that you can, um, you know, tell us from yesterday's class? Narciso, I can see you want to participate, in Narciso. Do you have any example that you would like to share with us? No examples no, no, ready. No example. mm. We left this activity pending yesterday. Look at this one. Let me go ahead and share. This is the activity that we uh, didn't complete yesterday in which we are going to use uh, prepositions and gerunds. We have uh, the preposition for, we also have the prepositions of. These are the two ones that we are given on this um, topic. Okay, so let's try to solve these uh, statements, please. In order for us to do it, we need to take into account this chart, the chart that we have here. Okay, so let's go ahead and, and um, read this chart and then let's complete the blanks here. Let me see if there's a message here. Oh, Ruben says, I'm a job, I'm responsible for shipping. Okay, what do you ship, Ruben? What do you ship uh, packages or what do you ship? Ruben? Bags. Bags. 
Uh, okay. Oh, boxes. Okay. All right. Good. Thank you. So let's uh, read this chart as a whole class. And then we're going to answer all these uh, six statements. So let's see. The first, the first one on top, we have the, how do you say this one? Anybody? Or who would like to read this chart? The first one? Let's see, Narciso, can you try please? Can you try to read the whole chart? The first one on top, what is it? Just General read it. Manager. General manager, and then? Auditor. Okay, auditor, okay, what else? And then we have? Quality, quality control inspector. Inspector, okay, and then we have? Floor, floor manager. The floor manager, right? Okay, and then financial department. Financial department, okay, and then computer department. Computer department. Then we have sales department. Sales department, okay, and then safety engineer. Safety, safety engineer. engineer. Safety engineer. Okay, good. Next, next one. Maintenance, maintenance chief. Okay, maintenance, 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 chef. maintenance, maintenance chef. chief, chief. Okay, and then we supervisor, have supervisor, supervisor, supervisors, and then maintenance personnel, maintenance personnel. Okay, and then uh, machine operator, machine operators, assemblers. Okay, assemblers and and truck drivers. Truck drivers. Thank you so much, Narciso, for, for reading. Okay. So all of these guys are different uh, positions within a company, right? We talked about this yesterday that we need to have one of these charts in our companies. And there are some, uh, let's say, advantages, or it is really important to have one of these. But we're going to talk about this uh, in a minute, okay? Because you guys are going to help me to create one. But before we do that, I want you to please go ahead and start completing these ideas. We are going to use the verbs in the, in the parentheses we, we have here. The first verb that we have is supervise, okay? So I want you to please go ahead and complete the idea and also give me the answer, okay, right here. So you complete the idea and you answer it. Let's take five minutes. I think it's okay. One minute per uh, statement or question. And then we share. Start reading, please. And then we're going to talk.
Hello, Xiomara. Welcome. How are you, Xiomara? You don't want to talk to me, Xiomara. Come on. What happened to you yesterday? Hello. Hello. How's everything, Xiomara? Thank you. Okay, thank you for um, coming and thank you for uh, connecting, okay? So, um, do you finish? Uh, have you finished, guys, or you still need some time? Or this is this, when you finish, please let me know in the chat so we can start, you know, socializing the answers, please. Ready, you see? Not yet. Okay, okay, no problem. No problem. Not a CISO, you're ready. Not this year. Not yet, okay. Oh, yeah. No problem, no problem. Okay, take your time. Mm.
Rafa, did you finish, Rafa? Finish. Not yet? Okay, finish. great. How about the other ones? Finish? Daniel, okay. Reinaldo, finish. Okay, great. Finish. Finish. Nice, nice to hear that. This is what we're going to do now. We are going to share, okay, the answers of each of these statements or questions, okay? We, as, as you can see, well, I'm not sharing. <laughs> well, this is the organization chart uh, for this company, like Rex organizational chart. And I need six volunteers to share the um, answers for, for each uh, question, okay? So let's see, let's start. Maybe I'm gonna start with one boy and this is going to be Ruben. Ruben, so what can you please help us with number one? Complete it and also tell us the answer. Okay. Uh, who is responsible for the machine oper oper operator supervisor? Okay. So who is responsible for? Ah, who, okay. is who is responsible who for? Who is responsible for the matching operate? Como se dice? Of, of, uh -huh. The the word is operators, right? Operators. Okay. Operator. Can can you try to read one more time, please? I will appreciate it. Only read it. Read it. The entire question and also the and also the answer, please. He is supervisor. Okay, it is sup the supervisor, right? Supervisor, but then try to read one more time, please. The entire question and also the answer. One more time, Ruben. Okay, uh, who is responsible for the machine operator? He is supervisor. Mm -hmm. Something supervisor. is something is missing here. Something is missing. Let me let me share the screen. Let me share the screen so I can. Um, we are going to use class and Ruben. We're going to use this is one oh. of this is this word, right? And this is the oh, verb. This is the verb. Okay. And then, uh, so what do we say after for Ruben? Who is responsible for? For writing. Exactly. Who is responsible for super? Advising the machine uh, operators. Exactly. Exactly. We need to use that for responsible for, and then we say super advising. Okay. The machine operators. And then the answer is Ruben. The you already said it. Repeat, teacher, please. Yes, um, okay, you already said the answer. Ya me dijo la respuesta. So what is the answer here that is missing here? Ah, uh, okay. Who is responsible for supervising the machine operator? Mm -hmm. Ah, se le agrega alguien eso, lo que no había entendido. Mm -hmm, exactly. So, and then the, the answer is? Uh, supervisor. The supervisors, okay. All right, yes. So what about number two? Let's see who would like to help us with number two. Number two. Uh, Thank you so much. Okay, we already, we already have one. Thank you. Go ahead. Okay, and two is who is in charge of the quality of the production uh, product, and the answer is checking. Uh -huh. Can you try again, please? Who is in charge of? Who is in charge of the quality of the product? Checking. Checking. Check, checking, checking the quality checking. of the product. The quality of the product. Exactly. Yeah. So remember that we need to use the verb that it is in here in, in, in parentheses, right? So check. So who is in charge of? Checking the quality of the products. And what's the answer? Checking. Okay. Control exactly. The answer is the quality control inspector. Okay, so let's do it. 
let me uh so the the answer here as you said is checking okay it's important that we write checking and then and then we have the quality control inspector that will be the the answer i think daniel already said it okay what about number three who would like to share number three number three let's see anybody who would like to volunteer me, teacher. Me, teacher. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, so this is going to be Rafa, JC, and then Daniel. Me, teacher. Rafa, okay. Yes. Okay, okay, number three. Mm -hmm. who, is who is responsible for repairing the problems of the machines? And the answer? Repairing. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So the that is that would be the verb, right? Repairing. And what about the answer? The maintenance person. Who is responsible for? Um, let me see. Let me stop this. Let's see. Who's responsible for? Um, you know, repairing the machine. Um, the problems of the machine. Who's responsible? What's the answer? Mm -hmm. The maintenance personnel. So maintenance chief, maintenance chief, maintenance chief is maintenance. responsible. And do we have that on the on, on the chart? Lo tenemos en el chart? Yes. Let me see. Let me show you the chart. Mm -hmm. Do we have it on the chart? The maintenance. Yes. Yes, maintenance chief. Do you think that the main chief will repair all these problems? Only that uh, person? Or do you think the main chief needs help from other people? What do you think? Machine operator? Maintenance in personal. Maintenance in personal. personal. Exactly, exactly. So I would say, guys, that is going to be the main person with the maintenance chief because the two are responsible for, you know, for this. And then so we can call it the maintenance department because that will be the department, the entire department, okay? But they are the responsible. So if you say to me the maintenance chief, yes, but there are more people involved. Okay, and that will be the main is personal. Okay, good. What about number four? I think it was for um, JC, right? JC? Okay, yes. Who is a control for selling the product? Mm -hmm. Is sales department. Okay, sales, sales department. Sales department. Sales department, good. Thank you so much. What about number five, Daniel? Who is in charge of assisting the assemblers? Mm -hmm. The answer is truck driver. Who is in charge of assisting? Assisting, assisting the, uh -huh. the assembler. Okay. Do you guys agree with that? Is the um, that who is who is in charge of assisting guys? Is that the answer? Do you guys agree with with uh, Daniel? That is the track, uh, I think the track driver, right? Yes, track driver, you said. So do you agree with that? Mm. The truck drivers or, or machine operator? Mm -hmm. okay. For me, for me, what, it's assembler department. Mm -hmm. that, that's assembler. a good guess. That's a good, good try. So who is in charge of assisting the assemblers do you think the machine operators will assist the, the assemblers or the truck driver or is there any other oh, the supervisor yes yes okay yes, yes because okay. because truck drivers are in their own business machine operators their own business but the supervisors in case uh one assemblers needs assistance they are you know in charge of assisting them okay they are supervising but also assisting the, the assemblers okay good and the last one let's leave it for ray ray please help us with the last one who is 
It's me? Yes, please. What's the answer? Okay. Who is a contable or manager the world operation? The other operation. What's the answer? Financial department. Oh, we have the financial department. Hmm. Okay, listen to what it says. Who is accountable for managing managing the whole operation? So, who is that person? The auditor general manager. manager. General manager. General manager. Exactly. Exactly. Good, Narciso. Yes. Yes, it's the general manager because it's the whole operation, including everybody. So that means that the general manager is on top. Okay. Yes, that would be correct. And uh, let's check, let's let's make that correction right there. Okay, so that would be who is accountable for managing the whole operation, the general manager. Okay, I think we have finished, right? Guys, I'm gonna give you five minutes to um, create a basic organizational chart about your company. But I want you to think about how can you describe, uh, you know, how you and your de in department like relate to other departments. Maybe if you work in financial department or you work in recruitment or production, so how you relate with other departments, okay? So let's do this in your notebooks or I don't know what you are, or maybe in your handouts, in your handouts, you can create one basic organizational chart about your company, okay? And then try to describe how the departments relate to each other. So I'm gonna give you five minutes and start brainstorming your ideas, okay? And then you guys are going to share. This is the instructions right here, in case you want to double check. Or if you have questions, guys, just let me know about what we are going to do right now. Please raise your hand if you have any question. Or you can open your mic and ask. No? Okay, so let's take five minutes then. Let's create this.
if you finish, let me know, please. Marlene, when you, when you have yes. your chart ready. Yes, teacher, I'm finished. Okay, you finished, Daniel. I'm finished. Thank, thank you so much, Daniel. And yes. what about the other ones? Think about, uh, Daniel, these responsibilities, right? And that you might have and who you report to and how you can give a very brief explanation, right? Maybe you will have to show us, you know, your chart, okay, on the on the camera. Okay, so I, 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 I'm gonna share in the in the share screen. Sounds perfect. I love it. Mm -hmm. So let's just wait one minute more. So everybody finishes and we're gonna start. Oh, you're doing it. Great. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, hey. Okay, okay. Can I talk? Yeah, please go for it. Let, let it flow. Okay, we. We have um, a general manager and the top and, and general operations. Uh, I'm I am pro I am I'm work in the air marshal department. I am an air marshaler where I need I, I report to the supervisor of air marshaler where the my relationship with the others with the other department is only with the drivers because the drivers is only the first the the, the first la persona, the people who is author, authorized for drive in the ramp i don't know if you understand <laughs> yeah clearly yeah yeah are authorized to yeah to drive on the ramp yeah, yeah. yes yes the, the, the driver is, is the only is the only is only um, es, bueno los drivers son las personas autorizadas uh, you, you, a manejar en la en la rampa in yeah. the ramp the driver in the ramp when i need when i need support for another vehicle is uh um, how say, how say, uh, van, microbus? Yes, vans. Yes, vans. Mm -hmm. Yes, where, where, where I need a van or or a pickup, the I call the driver. This is my relationship with the tra transportation department. Nice, nice to hear that. That was really good, and thank you for explaining to us. And you know what I like, Daniel. That you translate into Spanish what you were saying, so that's 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 cool. But yeah, we understood what you said. Okay, thank you for sharing. You know, and that's a good drawing. Okay, teacher. Great, thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, Daniel, I like it how you did it. Anybody else? Okay, now that Daniel already presented, who would like to continue? JC, okay, JC, very good. Go for it. I can see. Hey, look. Okay. Um, general manager, if I were the company go or goes or going? Oh. Like, uh, what is it like going or goals, like objectives? Okay. Um, financial department uh, manage, manage the records of company. Um, quality control department um, control the product quality. Um, salad department and salad of product and um, finish what is their relationship <laughs> what, what is your re like responsibilities and relationship between one department and, and another so what what can you tell us sorry teacher I, I i don't listen very well what can you tell us can you say about relationships and responsibilities with one department to another and my, my responsibility is um, in the salary department and is the 
the company is very small. And I have the responsibility of the solid department and, um, and rarely, rarely um, control the quality. Okay, rarely you control the quality, the, the quality, okay, of the products. Okay, yeah. okay. Thank you for sharing, JC. I want to hear more people practicing and also sharing. Who would like to do it voluntarily? Who would like to do it? Marlene is connected twice. <laughs> okay, so who would like to share? Linda, Norma, Narciso, Ruben, Cristina, Marlene, Maria Julia, only one. Don't be shy, come on, don't be shy. Just talk. Christina, can you show us your drawing? Hello, teacher. Hi. Um, um, uh, me. My organization is general manager, uh, business owner, legal assistant, uh, department health, human resources, mm -hmm. production, purchase, uh, how do you say control the quality? Control, uh, quality control. Quality control. Quality control eh, department. Eh, bodega. Warehouse. Uh -huh. Human resource is responsible the personal. Mm -hmm. Production, supervisor, um, uh, purchase is the buy. The, the, the sell the mater, materia prima. How do you say materia yeah. prima? Uh -huh. uh, raw material, raw material, raw material. Control, control quality is excellent product. product. Okay, okay, uh -huh. good. Um, thank you, Cristina. So who else would like to share? Why don't you wanna share it with the whole class? I have listened to only three and you are like 18. Why is it? You don't want to share today. You have, you know, come a little bit shy. Hmm. Marlene, you ready? You have it? Did you do it? No, you, don't, you didn't do it. <gasps> oh, that's a reason. Okay. What happened? Is everything okay? No. What happened? Are you hungry? Um, okay. <laughs> um, stress. You're stressed. My computer out. is very slow. Mm. Okay, slow I, I understand you. Okay, Rafa, did you do it, Rafa? Xiomara, did you do it? Narciso. Como media hora le iba y miren ahí, se durmieron quizás. Come on, man. Le di media hora y estoy esperando que no les dijera que participen, man. Ya veo que. Ok. okay um, y los que tienen acá la cámara quizás se ha dormido. Esa María Julia, Gabriel, ah, Gabriela, Cristina te está conectada twice. Ahí está Cristina. Ok, vamos a hacer lo siguiente porque el tema de esta clase es, también está relacionado con un nuevo, es un nuevo contenido. Eh, en primer lugar, solo quiero hacer un repaso del tema que acabamos de cerrar. Hemos dicho, we have said, tenemos for and we have of, que son prepositions. Ayer les di otras nuevas, ¿verdad? Que son más comunes. A ver, ¿quién se acuerda de las más comunes? Who remembers about the most common prepositions que les puse ayer en el chat? A ver. ¿Cuáles son las? At, at, at muy bien. About. about, about of, in, for. In, for. 
Ok, fíjense que... Along, al... uh -huh. beside, below, or... Uh -huh. Ok, those are prepositions too. Good. <laughs> oh, sí, así sí, así sí, así da ese attitude, ok. Bring more vocabulary, that's what, that's the idea. La, les comentaba eso porque... These prepositions are very useful. Y algunas veces, sometimes we use them with adjectives. For example, at es bien como usar la con adjetivo. Se lo voy a, se lo voy a, le voy a decir cuál es. Be good at. For example, one second, please. One second, please. I think, oh, okay, I don't. Be good at. So I can say, uh, I am good at. And then you can say one action. I am good at uh, playing soccer. I am good at uh, what? At, at work, maybe um, selling. Why not? Selling means that you have this expertise. And that's at. Maybe when we use in, we use in most of the time with interested. For example, I am interested in learning English, for example, learning English. I'm sending some examples here. As you can see, we have at ing form. We have in ing form because it's an action. And about is very common. Like for example, I am thinking about going to the beach. I wish, right? So you see, about going, okay? Uh, before going to break, for example, before, before going to break, I want you to blah, 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 blah. So, bef so after these prepositions, we have to use the ING form. That is, those are some common scenarios that I wanted to share, okay? But then uh, you can think of other, Right, just keep this in mind. If it is an action that you want to say, it must be in ing form. If it is a noun, then no problem. But if it is an action, please don't forget that you have to uh, write or say an, an ing form. So from now on, don't say thanks for listening, say thanks for listening. No diga gracias por venir, thanks for come, not thanks for coming. Okay, because after for, which is a preposition, ing for, siempre, ¿verdad? A menos que lo que estoy diciendo sea un sustantivo. Uh, thanks for helping me. Thanks for helping me. No thanks for help me. Helping me. Okay. After for, mandatoriamente ing for, if it is an action, okay? Remember that. Do you have any questions before we move on to the next topic? Because the next topic is different. Please ask right now. I give you two minutes. Or maybe give me some examples. So I understand you guys are like, uh, you know, understanding the topic. Or you can ask questions. Questions or examples, please. Questions, examples that you want to share? Oh, I, I am thinking, I am thinking, I, there, there's a mistake in one that I sent, I didn't text it, I didn't write it correctly, I'm gonna resend it now that I'm reading. Yes, examples, okay, go ahead, Jesus. I am thinking, this is the one. I just made a correction about one that I didn't even, I said it, but I, I miss. I made a typo while I was sending. So Jesus, go ahead, give me your examples. One example, please. No sé si es correcto, ¿verdad? Just go thanks, for it. Thanks for talking me. Thanks for talking, yes. Hey, Jesus, thanks for paying attention, okay? Thanks for calling, Jesus. Thanks for talking to me. Yes, exactly. That's what we want to say. Thanks for uh, talking. Like, um, thanks for calling me. Thanks for chatting with me. Okay. Yes. Uh, what else? Any other? At least one or two more participations, please, with examples. 
Xiomara, do you understand what we are talking about? Xiomara, algún ejemplo que se le ocurra? De la preposición and also the, the verb. I am interested in reading a new book. Yes, I like that one. Cristina is a good one. I'm interested in reading a new book. No, I said I am interested to read, ¿verdad? No, I am interested in reading. Así es la manera, la correcta. I am interested in reading, no to read. Okay, that would be good. That's a really good one. What else? Marlene, share, please. Share. I'm stressed. Okay. Okay. Ah, that's why you were laughing. Okay. <laughs> About using my computer. Okay. I like it. <laughs> I like it. What else? Rafa, Xiomara. No more extra. Thanks for coming, says Roy. Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, listen, we the dog is running around the tree. Mm -hmm. What's the preposition in this one, and Elizabeth? Around. Um, if it is around, around and then yes, if it is around it's and free. then the purpose is that we use preposition plus ing. Remember that, okay? So after we, we need to use an ING form. That will be the... the... Okay. Uh -huh. Thanks for training my team. Thanks for giving that class. That's a good one. Thanks for teaching English, okay? Thanks for learning. Thanks for... Yes, okay, that's, that's very common. Okay. Any other? Los que no han mandado un ejemplo, solo se los están quedando o no quieren compartir. What happened? So I stand up listening. Okay, I'm worried. Piense que worry más común usarlo con about. I'm worried about. Pero se entiende la idea. Ask I'm worried paying bills. Okay, yes, <laughs> sometimes, right? I'm I, este, thinking, escriba Norma, porque yo me equivoqué en el spelling, lo corregí. I'm thinking about changing. <laughs> Okay, que no, que no la voy a escuchar su jefe. I'm thinking about changing work. Okay. okay. Ya voy a mandar un correo ahorita. No, ni, ni sé qué. I'm thinking about changing, changing work. I know it's an example. Okay, good. What else? One more minute. La verdad no quiero, el otro tema no tiene nada que ver con esto. Así que por eso quiero, to be sure. Okay. Okay. Arnold, what happened to you today, Arnold? I haven't read anything from you. Xiomara, I haven't read anything from you. Ray, I haven't read anything from you. No he leído nada de ustedes. If you don't want to text, you know, get a text here. Entonces, open your mic and say one example, please. El libro nos da las estructuras. And I'm responsible for, I'm accountable for, um, was, I'm in charge of. Okay, those, those are some options. If you want to use this one, use what the book gives, but then complete the, the ideas. Thanks for running with me, okay. Yes, I imagine. Thanks for running with me. Okay. Thanks for training with me, right? What else? Thanks for learning English. Yes. Lista. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Entonces diga, thanks for understanding me. Gracias. Thanks como que bien común, for understanding me. 
Ahí sí podemos decir understanding me, suena bien. Thanks for understanding me. Gracias por su comprensión. Understanding. Thanks for training with me. Ok. Ok. Good. Good. Algunos no han mandado nada. Ok. Vamos a iniciar. We're going to continue with a new topic. Ok. And this is, before I start, I would like to know what do you know about the passive voice? What comes to your mind? Or what have you heard about the passive voice? Anybody? What is passive voice? Mm -hmm. What have you heard? What is it? Why do we need to know about passive voice? I, I don't remember. <laughs> No? no. What is passive boy? Mm -hmm. If you remember and like something, go ahead and send it on the chat. I want to read what is this? <clears throat> I'm sorry, this is uh, give me a second. Uh, you know, my shot, my daily shot. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so, what is passive boy? Passive boys. Why do we need to know about this? And this is very useful in English, I'm telling you guys. Passive boys. What is it? What do you know about this? If you don't know, fine. But if you know something, let it flow. Share it, please. Where is a person is uh, relaxed to talk? It's not a person aggressive. I okay. think. Okay. Okay. It has to do with that in a way. It has to do with that in a way. What else do you know about passive boy? Thank you for that contribution, Daniel. What else do you know about passive boys? Do you know about any structure? No, yes. I'm going to say this in Spanish. La voz pasiva está en futuro, presente y pasado. The passive voice is in the three tense. Future, past, and present. Okay? Today, we are going to focus on the present. Present passive voice. Okay? Okay? So, what do we need to know about this? Okay. First, there is a structure, hay una estructura. First. Second, second, do we care about the doer or do we care about the action? Nos interesa el que hizo la acción o la acción como tal. In a passive voice. Let me tell you that in passive voice, we do not care that much about the doer. No nos interesa tanto quién hace la acción, sino la acción misma. Okay, por eso es voz pasiva. Ya vamos a ver un par de ejemplos de qué es passive voice. We don't really want to know who did or who is going to do, or, or who does the action. We focus on the action itself, okay? So, now with this idea in mind, what comes to your mind? Have you ever uh, listened to this structure? ¿Han escuchado sobre esta estructura? No, never? Okay. No, no, never. Never, ever. Fíjense que la voz pasiva es tan útil en el inglés formal como no tienen idea. Porque ahí no, no nos interesa quién hace la acción, sino la acción como tal. ¿Cómo dirían ustedes, este, por ejemplo, este, digamos que el teacher no, 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 no importa ahorita. Es, la clase es que, brindada o es impartida todas las Todas las noches a las 10 de la, a las 10 pm. Vean lo que acabo de decir. La clase es brindada o es impartida 
todas las noches a las 10. ¿Quién da la clase? We don't care, así literalmente, no nos interesa, ¿verdad? Solo que la clase se dé, ¿verdad? Esa es la voz pasiva, donde quien hace la acción no es importante como tal, sino solo la acción misma. Ya vamos a ver un par de ejemplos, porque voz pasiva existe en todos los tiempos. Presente, pasado, futuro, presente perfecto, pasado, todo existe. Es como otro tiempo, otra manera de hablar en inglés, formal, donde nos importa más la acción. Es, es, um, es uh, prohibido dormirse en la clase, por ejemplo. Es prohibido dormirse en la clase. ¿Quién lo prohíbe? No, no interesa. Es prohibido y punto. <risa> Es, esa, es la voz, esa es la voz pasiva donde el, quien, el, el doer quien hace, quien emite la orden quien hace la acción, no es tan importante ya vamos a ver un par de ejemplos, solo voy a tomar la asistencia ok, okay. give me one second uh, let's see Ana Elizabeth present thank you Ana, Narciso present teacher thank you, Claudia Karina Cristina Present. Thank you, Cristina. How are you? Escucho que tienes sueño. No, it's my perception. Tiring day, un día cansado. Ni quiere ni comparte, yes, Cristina. Relax, okay, oh. relax. Relax, relax. No, I'm so, so tired. I'm sorry? Un poco cansado. Oh, you are tired. Okay. I understand. I understand. Okay. Um, let's keep going. Relax. Okay. Relax. This is a topic very easy. And you're going to help me to explain it. Okay. Uh, Eric Arnoldo. Eric is por ahí. Eric. Eric. Eric Arnoldo. Okay. <laughs> Next. Gabriela. Gabriela Guadalupe. Present teacher. Thank you, Gabriela. Gerson didn't make it. Jesús. Rubén. Linda. Present teacher. Thank you, Linda. María Julia. Marlene. Present. Thank you, Marvin. Present. Norma. Rafa. Present teacher. Thank you. Rafa. Present teacher. Rey. Present teacher. Xiomara. Present teacher. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Adrián, Georgina, Jairo, José, Alberto. Ok. So. Yo, teacher. Daniel. Ya le puse que asistencia, Daniel. En mí. Ok. Gracias. No lo, eh, no lo mencioné. Ya ven, yo me estoy durmiendo entonces. No, pero sí les he puesto Daniel, Luna, tiene presente, JC también. Y no sé por qué. Something is wrong in here. The, the thing is that I saw you guys there and I. What happened? And I'm eating cake. You know, there was a birthday, they gave me cake. Hey. Even like that. You know? Even, no, but it's not my birthday. Did you <laughs> need okay. coffee? I, I got the, soda. The, 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 it was my baby. Birthday. Whose no, birthday? For, for the person is the birthday. Oh, oh, oh okay. It's my brother's. It's, it's my oh, brother's. Okay. He's, 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 he's turning, I think, 20 and something. You know. Uh, uh, con, congratulations brother. for your brother. Hey, hey, brother. I'm, on, I'm, I'm on my room. He's, you know, having having oh. fun with, with his his girls. <laughs> <you know>? <laughs> Girlfriends. Oh. <laughs> okay. okay. But thank you for asking, guys. I appreciate that. Ok, entonces, ¿qué, ¿qué vamos a aprender de la voz pasiva ese día? Primeramente, la voz pasiva hemos dicho que el, el doer, el, el, el hechor, el que hace la acción, no es tan importante. It's not that important. No estoy diciendo que lo vamos a hacer por un lado, ¿verdad? que no es tan importante. That's the point. Ok. Um, now, the question is, how do we make it? How do we construct How do we create the questions or sentences? Ese es, el, ese es el punto. Y vamos a comenzar diciendo lo siguiente. Necesitamos en la voz pasiva, necesitamos siempre el verbo to be. That's step number one. 
Siempre necesitamos el verbo to be. What is the verb to be? Verb to be is? Verb to be? Yeah. Are? You, you okay. are? You are? Okay. We, we are, they are. Ajá, ajá. Vaya, me lo están conjugando, which is good. Pero el verbo to be. Is, oh, el, is, el, oh el, 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 el verbo to be solo es. Uh, is, I, am, is, are. Um, are. Ese es el verbo to be. Lo que le acabo de mandar es present, 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 present. Pero también tenemos past. What is the past? What is the past of the verb to be? Was, was where? where? Exactly. Good. Was where? Y tenemos la última. Future, tenemos future. Will. Ok, me gusta esa postura. Will be, ¿verdad? Podría ser. Podría ser going to be. Ok. Vamos a quedar con esas dos ideas. Present and past. Ok. Today, we are going to learn only the present. So, necesitamos the be, que sería is, am, um, are, plus the past participle. Okay, that's it. Now, the question is, what is the past participle of the verb? What is it? Let me send you a couple of examples. So, let's see. One verb. If I, if I say, if I say, for example, let's see... Simple word, eat. This is the most basic one, eat. I send it. What is the past of this verb? What is the past? Eight, very good. And what is the third column that we have? What is the third column? What is the other one we have? Eat, eight, and then what is missing? Eating, eating. Eating, awesome, eating. So, the first one is present, the second one is past, and the third one is? Participle. Is? Don't be afraid, Linda, say it. You were saying it. What is it? Part participio. Part oh, es no el sé. participio. Se dice past. Past. Pas participio. Participio. Okay. Past participio. Vean lo que estamos haciendo. El verbo tiene tres. Tiene present, past, present, and past, present, participle. past participle. Ok. Entonces, la voz pasiva la vamos a formar con the verb to be, verbo to be, más la última categoría del verbo que es el past participle. Ok. Vamos a hacer un par de ejemplos ahorita con ese verbo que les acabo de mandar. What is the formula? Formula. Formula is what? Verb to be, be, plus past participle. El verbo en past participle. Veamos un ejemplo. E imagínense de que, que mi comida ahorita se la, se la comió, ¿verdad? Eh, alguien, pero yo no, a mí no me interesa quién se la comió. Lo, lo que me interesa es que se comieron mi comida. ¿Cómo diría no. eso? ¿Quién se comió? Uh. My food is... Ah, no. Ajá. Es, está no, no, bien no. el punto. Está bien el punto. Porque le va a salir en presente. Pero yo acabo de decir que se la comió, ¿verdad? En el pasado. Pero... My, este, my, my, my food... My food is eating. Si yo digo my food is eating, porque está bien la, la instrucción. ¿Qué estoy diciendo ahí? Que mi comida... Esta comida. <ríe> Fue comida. <ríe> Fue comida. Fue comida. Oh. My food. Wow. This is incredible. Oh. Cambiamos, la, cambiamos, el, cambio, cambiamos el vocabulario para que tenga sentido. Pensemos, my pizza, my cake, my pupusas, my qué? My otra comida, su comida favorita, my tacos, my um, hamburger. Ahí va. My hamburger, hamburger, what? Uh, let me send a hamburger. If it is present, is what? Let me change it so it makes sense. <laughs> I come under example un poquito. My hamburger is made with love. Mm -hmm. ¿Quién, la, ¿Quién la hizo? ¿Quién la hizo? Quedó tan deliciosa. 
no me interesa, pero está deliciosa. Ok, ok, you see what I mean? Uh, estoy utilizando el verbo made, que es el past participle del verbo, el presente es made. make, make, luego made, made, oh, ¿vieron? Yeah. Uso el yeah. último, ver, la última yeah. categoría. Entonces aquí ustedes tienen un yeah. reto, el reto es conocer yeah. los verbos en presente, yeah. en pasado y en la última categoría del verbo, que eso vamos a estar utilizando. Vamos a hacer otro un par de ejemplos más, porque esa es la estructura, el, el, el verbo to be y el verbo en past participle. Ya vamos a revisar el manual también. Ok, um, tenemos my, no, quizás no my, pensemos may. en otra. Other, other, other possible sentences. Pensemos. Utilicemos la estructura, podemos darme sus ejemplos. Si es plural, es are siempre, ¿verdad? Yes, is, pues, o sea, singular, singular. What comes to your mind? Vamos a pensar en un ejemplo. Ustedes me mandan los suyos también en el chat. El de que les di hace un rato les voy a mandar. Miren este ejemplo, lo voy a mandar ahorita. Eso es lo que sucede. La clase es given every day at 10 p.m. La, la clase es brindada o impartida o dada todos los días a las 10 p.m. Si así fuera el caso, ¿verdad? un ejemplo. Ok. Esa estructura de verbo to be y el, y el verbo en past participle es... La, es la voz pasiva porque dije given porque el verbo en presente mm -hmm. es give el pasado es gave y el pasado participio que estoy utilizando es given ahí está miren mm -hmm. voy a mandar. así está la categoría give gave mm -hmm. given mm -hmm. entonces usamos el last one el último de con verbo to be mm -hmm. pero quiero ver algunos ejemplos suyos para, para ver si se está comprendiendo o oh, eso está un poquito confuso Vamos a pensar uno en, en futuro. Um, perdón, en, en plural, porque en futuro no nos vamos a meter, digamos, ¿verdad? Plural. Ok, yo tengo uno. Miren ese que acabo de... Ok. Y acaba de mandar uno, miren. Some cars are sold in agencies. Algunos carros son vendidos en las agencias. Otros que los compramos en, con coyote. ¿verdad? Some cars are sold in agencies. Miren, are sold. ¿Por qué use uh -huh. sold? Porque el verbo es sell y luego el pasado es sold. Pero también el último es sold. Así es el verbo. Usé el último verbo, la última ca categoría. Me, me, este, ¿Quién vende los carros? ¿O ¿Dónde? ¿Por qué? En sí, la acción en sí es que son vendidos, ¿verdad? Ahí yo especifiqué en agency, pero yo podría decir the cars are sold, son vendidos. Y después, ¿verdad? El doer is not that important. Ok, pensemos en unos ejemplos. Les voy a compartir en ese momento el manual porque aquí también está esa información. Here we go. En todo eso, pues me pueden mandar sus ejemplos también. Passive voice. Tenemos aquí nuestra primera conversación, pero antes de leerla quiero ver algunos ejemplos, a ver si podemos crear unos. Yo creo que sí. Some examples. Passive voice in present. Let's take one minute. Let's think. Si no se comprende, por favor, dígame. Please tell me. Elizabeth. Hello. Yes. More or less. Sí, más o menos. Se lo estoy analizando lo que usted puso para poner otro ejemplo. Ok, ok, ok. De estas combinaciones. Ok.
Si ese narciso que they call me by phone es una, es, eso es pasado de un solo. Y falta el verbo to be, hay que ponérselo, si no perderíamos en la, en la. We are forgotten, exacto. Ahí como que somos olvidados. <ríe> you see, we are forgotten. ¿Quién nos olvidó? Pues ahí, we are forgotten. We are forgotten, muy bien. La que Narciso mandó necesita ser modificada. La, la, la de sí está bien. De computers. Fíjense que la el que mandó usted, Daniel, de computers is, primero de computers sería R, porque es computer, pero es load, la computadora son. A otra cosa que no les he mencionado, creo que va a ayudar un poco. Este, los verbos en past participio, que son la última categoría, la última función, la mayoría terminan en, en español ado, edu, algunos en ajá, ido y algunos hasta en, creo que he visto algunos en un par en udo, pero todos terminan en ado, edu, y, lo, y los que se salen, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, este hecho, que ese ya es, el, es un verbo que se sale de lo normal, ¿verdad? Que es did, do, did, done, o, o escrito, pero son de los poquitos que se salen, pero el, el factor común, el common denominator, dice que se viene en edo, edo, ado, ido. Por eso que el ejemplo que manda Daniel, eh, allí eh, perdemos un poquito las computadoras. Sí, yo, es... yo, pens, yo, yo pensaba en el, en el que la computadora está lenta. Ajá, pero ah, ahí pero, como... ajá, algo, algo, algo así sí. pensaba, pero no sé sí, si sí, ahí sí, tenía dudas con ese, fíjese con ese que... último, último uh -huh. verbo. Sí. Fíjense este, que en el caso de la computadora está lenta. Lento en sí este, no es un verbo. ¿Verdad? El lento es, una, una, es un adjetivo que está describiendo, a la, solo describe la computadora. Por eso es que no encontramos en sí, sí a este, la, la, la relación, pero también el verbo, a ver qué va a tener sentido. Podría decir, the computer is, ¿qué? Is frozen. Pero frozen, ahí sí, porque el, el verbo es freeze, froze, frozen. El verbo congelar que se ha quedado estancada. The computer is frozen. Ahí sí que se quedó la computer. La computadora está frozen. Ahí sí. No, porque no, ahí okay. sí entraría. Podríamos utilizarlo. El, okay. el ejemplo de okay. Linda. The kids are taking to school. Es, me llega. La verdad está bien. Ese ejemplo está nítido. Los niños son llevados a la escuela. The kids are taking to school. ¿Quién lo lleva? We don't know. Or we don't want to know. Or we don't really care. Okay. The child is a spoken. Hmm. Jesús Sánchez es the, the child. Por la, por el, el verbo que utilizó, la estructura está bien. La estructura está bien, Jesús. Pero lo que queremos decir es lo que creo que no está bien. La, la fórmula está bien. Pero en sí, el uso de las palabras es lo que creo que tenemos que modificar. Ok, veamos ah, otros ejemplos. A ver, eh, Ana dice, he uh -huh. gave the class late. He gave the class late. Hay dos cosas. Uh -huh. En primero, uh -huh. estamos, estamos diciendo este, el verbo en gave. Y es given, es el último, Elizabeth. El uh -huh. Give, gave, uh -huh. given. Ajá, uh -huh. the... Entonces sería, the class is given late. Is that tarde, okay. is given. Y en vez de hip, escriba da, porque no queremos el subject ahí. Uh -huh. Ok. Uh, eso vamos a hacer la modificación. Marlene. The dogs are broken there. Mm. Mm. The dogs are broken there too. ¿Sabe por qué esa oración, Marlene, este, tendríamos que re, 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 o corregirla? Porque más, más me suena de que, de que quiere decir que los perros quiebran sus, sus juguetes. 
-huh. Entonces, ahí sí estamos diciendo quién hace la acción y lo que queremos no es eso. Uh -huh. Más bien, lo que queremos es decir que los juguetes se, se han quebrado. Entonces, podemos decir, the, the toys are broken. Quien nos quebró no nos interesa en sí. Uh -huh. el, el doer no lo queremos mencionar. Por eso es que la, la estructura necesita ser revisada. Podríamos decir, the toys or the toys are broken. ¿Quién nos quebró? We don't know. But we don't want to say. Okay. Luego, Rubén. No, Rubén, ahí un modal no lo vamos a usar ahorita. Acordemos de la estructura. El pasado de sent es sent con T. La estructura es verbo to be, is, am, are, o ponemos el, este, y luego el verbo en past participle. Rubén, ahí could no, no entra, no está en. A ver. We drank your water. Este, la estructura, Cristina, la estructura. La estructura es el verbo. El verbo, este. To be, be, plus, past participle. El verbo to be, más, past participle. Ok. Y vamos a usar. Esa sí está bien, Xiomara. Good. My homework is done. Está hecho. Sí, sí lo hizo la, 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 la prima, la abuela, la, la, la verdad, está hecho. Sí, pero está hecho. No sabemos quién lo hizo. Eso está bien. Fíjese, Cristina, que la estructura está bien. They arrive in the, they are arrived in the airport. Pero en sí lo que queremos decir es lo que tendríamos que pensar. Estructura está bien. Pero lo que queremos decir no tiene mucho sentido. Porque ellos están llegados. Recordémonos que el verbo termina en ado, edo, udo. Ellos están llegados. O ellos están arribados en el aeropuerto, ¿no? La de norma sí tiene sentido. They are accepted in the university. Ellos son aceptados en la universidad. Es así. ¿Quién nos aceptó? Si fue el, la universidad, el del DIN, el decano, quien sea, departamento de selección, we don't know. The family is called to the church. Sí, la familia es llamada a la iglesia. I like it. Bien religious, el es está chido. The car is not. Mm. Fíjense, Daniel, que la idea está bien. Lo único que el, el verbo worked termina en ado, edo, udo. Ese es trabajado. Entonces, el carro es, no está trabajando. Ajá, no, 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 no tiene. Acordémonos de que el verbo. El no, la, no lo han trabajado, el mecánico no lo ha trabajado. <risa> no, 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 no. It's worked, it's worked. Ah, pero yo creo que por ahí, por ahí más o menos habría que modificar, pero habría que modificar, pero sí, ahí en ese sentido creo que tendría un una, un, ajá, como que ya va teniendo más, aquí estás agregándole un complemento, así que podríamos completar la idea, veamos, the food is made, está súper bien Chomara, la comida es hecha, quien hace, we don't know, ok, ok what else, qué más algunos no me han mandado ejemplos yo sé que entiendo de que ese tema implica un reto porque este, necesitamos conocer los verbos en su última categoría Veamos, el, veamos el, la conversación. Okay. La conversación aquí, we have Daniel, tenemos Daniel, va a leer porque tenemos a Daniel. Y, y Jessica, sí, vamos a pedirle a alguien que nos ayude. Ana, usted nos ayuda. Ana. Read. Okay. Read, please. Only read. Okay. Okay. So, Jessica, what does your company do? Atrax. We products clothes for kids. I see. And what is Rex now for? Rex is now for the modern dancing, the quality of the clothes, clothes we make. Great. Great. And are you happy to work? For Rex? Absolutely. Rex is a. What do you say? Recognized. Recognized as 
a very prestigious company. Their personal is important for them. Congratulations, Jessica. You are right. Rex is rated as one of the, of the 10 most prestigious companies in El Salvador. Thank you so much, Daniel and Jessica. <laughs> Thank you so much, Elizabeth and Daniel. Okay, here we have what we're talking about. Aquí tenemos what we're talking about. Primeramente, si se fijan, tenemos cuatro, no, tres verbos que aparecen en esa categoría. We have non, non, and the verb to be is. Porque estamos hablando de una sola, ¿verdad? Porque es una pregunta que hay una inversión aquí, pero is non. Aquí sí está bien, miren, is verbo to be y el verbo en su past participle. Entonces, el presente de este verbo, lo voy a escribir ahorita en la pantalla, miren, es present no, past new, past participle, non. Ok, sorry, let me see, non, ok. You see, they're using the last category, la última categoría, la otra, recognize. Recognize, we have, uh, this is, the, first, the present is uh, recognized, past is uh, recognized, and then the past participle is re recognized. So they are using the last category, okay? And then rate is the same thing. So rate is, rate is the present, rate is the past, and rated is the past participle. So in these three verbs, they are using the last category, which is um, non, recognized, and rated, rated, okay? Y la formula se mantiene. Verb to be, and then the verb in, in the past participle, okay? And then in, in um, related to pronunciation, quería nada más mencionar, Let's see, uh, clothes, clothes. Para pronunciar ropa, clothes. Clothes, clothes. Mm. clothes. Okay, so, um, so that's, that's what we're talking about. Now, um, I want to read it once and then I'm going to have two other people to read it. So please listen to me. So Jessica, what does your company do? At Rex, we produce clothes for kids, I see. And what is Rex known for? Rex is known for the modern designs and the quality of clothes we make. Great. And are you happy to work for Rex? Absolutely. Rex is recognized as a very prestigious company. Their personnel is important for them. Congratulations, Jessica. You're right. Rex is rated as one of the 10 most prestigious companies in El Salvador. Okay, so I want now to volunteers to read it. Okay, maybe Daniel can choose one and Elizabeth choose the other so we can um, complete the next practice. Elizabeth, who do you choose? You. You that are listening to me, tú que me estás escuchando con los dos oídos. Okay. No. Ahora yo soy Daniel. No, usted oh. va a elegir. You choose the ah, next one. Ah, elegir. Ah, okay. Eh, Arnold. Arnold and Daniel, who do you choose? I choose the boys who have a shirt with, eh, no sé, que tiene camisas con rayas. JC. JC, okay. Stripes <laughs> is in rayas, stripes. Okay, go ahead. Okay. I start. So, Jessica, what does your company do? Ooh. Oh. Try again, please. Hola, ¿me escucha? Hola. Yes, yes, yes. go ahead. Ah, ah perdón, que me tengo problemas con esto. Okay. At Rex, we produce clothes for kids. 
I see. And what is red snow for? Red is now for the modern design and the quality of the clothes we make. Great. And are you happy to work for Rex? Absolutely. Rex is recognized as a very prestigious company. The personnel is important for them. Congratulations, Jessica. You're right. Rex is rated as one for one, one or of the 10 most prestigious companies in El Salvador. Yes, okay, great. Thank you so much, guys, for reading, okay? So that was good. Only one observation, recognize, recognized prestigious, prestigious companies. So, um, well, this is what it is. This, any questions in regards to this vocabulary or pronunciation? Are we okay with this or questions, guys? Questions? Questions? No, okay. So let's complete this activity then, please. Uh, let's uh, say if it is true or if it is false. Read and then tell me what you think. Let's take two minutes, I think, or three minutes to complete this. So when you finish, please let me know. Finish the chart. Okay, Daniel, what is number one? Read it and tell me the answer, please. Okay. People know Rex produce clock with modern design for kids. Is true. True. Do you guys agree with Daniel? Yes? Yes. Okay. Yes, so, do you, so do I. Thank you yes. so much. Number two. Let's see, Linda, number two. Uh, people know Rex manufacture manufactures quality clothes for kids. Uh, I think it's true. Yeah, you think it's true. Rafael, do you agree with Linda? Agree or disagree? False. 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 It's false. Mm -hmm. I think. Narciso, agree or disagree with um, Linda? It's true. Yes, it's true. true. Two, two against one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no control. Okay, yes, it is true. It's true, Rafa. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> number three, let's see. Elizabeth, number three, please. 
people see Rex as a Predimus company? True or false? Uh, true, who say you? Okay, let's see. Um, Ray, do you agree or disagree? Agree or disagree, Ray? It's true. True, okay, yes, that's what it is. So okay. that's correct, Elizabeth and okay. Ray, true. Uh, the pronunciation is prestigious, prestigious company, Prestige. prestigious. Okay. And yes, and the last one, let's see, Norma, people at, People rate Rex as one of the 20 most prestigious companies in El Salvador is false. 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 Okay. Yes, because it's yes. obvious, right? It's it not of the 10 most Exactly. Exactly. That's correct. So thank you so much. We're finished. And now let's keep studying the formula and a little bit of grammar. So this is what we we're discussing, guys. Which sentence emphasize uh, the doers in the sense of the actions known, recognized? But, well, this is just a question, but this is what I care. Look, we do not care, we do not focus on the doer because the passive voice, what does it say? The passive voice emphasize, emphasize the action the action and this is more important than the doer okay than the subject that is the passive voice that's what i care okay that's what we want to focus on today okay the passive voice emphasize on the actions more than on the doers okay so what is the formula okay look at these examples rex is recognized as a prestigious um, company. Quien la reconoce, ese en realidad no menciona. Rex is rated as one of the 10 most prestigious company. Quien la clasifica o quien le dice en qué nivel o, o la clasifica en estos most prestigious, no sabemos. Entonces, we focus more or we make the emphasis in the action, ¿verdad? No en quien genera la acción, ¿ok? Entonces, eh, en este cuadrito lo importante es recalcar esto. Luego, to say a sentence in the passive voice, ustedes ya me sabrían decir esto. A ver, ¿cómo lo responderíamos? The verb, what? Followed by the? Solo sí. elijamos uno. Permita, voy a borrar sí. todo esto. B. B, ok. Sí. Entonces escribamos B aquí. Followed by the, ¿qué? Present participle or past participle? Past participle. Past participle. Eso es todo lo que tenemos que rescatar de este cuadrito. Primero, passive voice emphasize on the action. Ok, then on the doers. And then the formula is B plus Past participle. Ok. Um, so, el reto está ahorita para ustedes. Keep studying the verse. No solo nos quedemos con la primer columna. Ahora el reto es study the verb, present, past, and past participle. Ok. Y eso sería, recordemos que los verbos están, hay dos categorías, two categories. Number one, regulars and number two irregulars, ok, para que ahí siempre tienen, aunque sean regulares o irregulares, siempre tienen past participle ese vamos a tomar, ok that's what we're gonna take ok, um, veamos estos exercises que tenemos aquí, okay, let's, let's do them let's complete them look son six, they are six let's do it uh, our company is considered Miren, el verbo en presente es consider, pero el past participle es considered. Este es un verbo regular, porque solo le ponemos ed y ya. Es past, past o past participle. Our company is considered the best manufacturer of brooms in the country. 
completemos los otros, eh, los otros cinco que faltan. Verbo to be y el verbo en past participle. Luego los compartimos. Sumemos unos tres, cuatro minutos para completar. Teacher, I have a question. Ajá. What is, uh, what is la producción de brooms? The best manufacturer of brooms. What is brooms, guys? Yes. Broom? Broom? Anybody who knows what broom is? Brooms? For uh, anybody? I think it's an equipment for you to make like that, that cleaning. That's what I believe it is. I think, uh, let me see. Yes, I think that's what it is. Yes, it's, it's an equipment to make the cleaning, you know. It's like the moppers, but this is like, depends, like, like escobas, okay? Brooms. So, oh, I don't know. Las escobas, y las es, escobas. Oh, brooms. Okay. Brooms, exactly. Brooms. Brooms. So, yes, our company no, is no. considered... This is new work for me. <laughs> okay, good. So, thank you, thank you. good. All right. And I think moppers son los trapeadores. Moppers. Trapeadores. Uh -huh. Yes, moppers is trapeador. Uh -huh. Exactly. Moppers. Moppers and then brooms okay. on las escobas. Mm -hmm. Yes, FYI. Okay. 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 Uh, good. So, keep working on the next brooms and moppers. Okay, um, so let's complete the next five. Teacher. Yes. The verb perceive just add D. Yes, regular. Yes, regular. Regular. Okay. Thanks.
When you finish, let me know so we can check, please. Okay, thank you so much, Jesus. Thank you so much, Linda. Thank you, Daniel, for confirming that you finish. Okay, one more minute, and then we're going to start sharing. Okay, so time really flies. Let's start sharing, guys. Let's see who the first who finish is, I think is Jesus. Please, can you help us with number two? Okay, our product greater as five of the most popular in the United States. Uh, our products and then, I'm sorry, our products. Jesus, our products. Jesus, can you listen to me? Our products rate as five of the most popular in the United States. Hmm. Okay. What is missing, Jesus? What is missing here? Our products. Great, great, great. No sé si ahí se pronuncia. Sí, la pronuncia. Our, 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 exactly. Our, our, Remember oh, that, sorry, sorry. No, no problem. Remember that our products are rated because it's passive voice. Nuestros productos are rated. Exactly, is R rated. Our products are rated as five of the most popular in the United in, in the United States. Okay, so verb to be, no se les olvide el verbo to be is necessary, así, pero es mandatory porque estamos espacios boy. Okay, so uh, what about number uh, three? Veamos, Daniel. Our customer service agents mm -hmm. are perceived as the most efficient in the sector. Nice. Okay. Our customer service agents are perceived, <coughs> perceived, 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 perceived as the most efficient in the sector. Yes. Eh, solo para entender oh. esa parte, esa está bien, Daniel, la verdad está bien. ¿Cómo traduciríamos estas dos oraciones? Yo sé que eh, la, la, la número dos, ¿cómo quedaría traducida? Y our products are rated as the five of the most. Nuestros productos están mm. evaluados. 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 Cinco más populares en Estados Unidos. Exactamente. Las palabras que ustedes usaron todas pueden entrar. Rated viene de calificar, viene de evaluar, viene de todo eso. De categorizar por nivel. Uh -huh. Ok. Si se fijan la voz pasiva, para eso la utilizamos. No decimos quién, as quién, lo que está rating, no nobody. Y la número tres, ¿cómo le quedaría, Daniel? ¿De qué se le leyó? Nuestros agentes de servicio al cliente son percibidos como los más eficientes en el sector. Lovely. That's correct. That is the passive voice. Esa es la voz pasiva en presente. Ok, good. Okay. 
Después van, van a aprender o si es posible para usarla en pasado. Solo lo único que va a cambiar es el verbo to be. Y es bien sencillo. Así, en vez de decir uh, is, van a decir was. En vez de decir are, van a decir where. Y es todo. Y ya es en pasado. Así que es, es bien fácil. Ok. Number, uh, number four. Let's see. Who would like to help us with number four? Uh, de los primeros tres que terminaron. Linda, ¿le gustaría a usted? Please. The, the brand is seen as the leader in the energy drinks market. Nice. Exactly. The brand is seen. Is, no, escribí la de, la, de, la de Daniel. Perceived. Leo. Ya nos And dijo, so. no, este, Linda, es sin, exactamente, ¿verdad? El sí. past participle, es sin. Sin. Sin, porque él sería sí, si, so, sin, ¿verdad? Muy bien. Number five, who has number five que quiere compartirla? ¿Quién la tiene? Number five. Me. Ok, adelante. Oh. Cristina. Ok. Uh -huh. um, the company is now as a major producer of shoes in the region. Ok. It's known, right? The company is known no. uh, as the major producer of shoes in the re region. Ok. Good is known. Seguimos la estructura, ¿verdad? Así que estamos bien. Is known. Oops, it's non, ok, muy bien, es conocida como la, la productora de zapatos más grande. Ok, and the last one, are vegetables, JC, are vegetables. Are vegetables right as the lead contaminator of the... National market. Okay. Don't forget the bird to be. What is the bird to be missing here? Our, our base. Our, 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 exactly. Our base. Our base was are rated as blah 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 market. Exactly. So that's what it is. That's the passive voice. There to be plus past participle. That will, the challenge is el reto is to know the last category of the bird. Okay. Eh, vamos a iniciar con la, con la actividad que está aquí, que es un paragraph. Tenemos nada más como cinco minutos, lo que logremos hacer. Um, what is reputation, by the way? What is reputation? In your own words, what's reputation? A ver, lo primero que se les ocurre cuando escuchan reputation, what is it? No. O sea, las primeras seis letras de la palabra, no. Esta es la de Arjona. Esa es la verjona, Xiomara. Mm. Ok. Ok. What is reputation? Reputation? Reputation. Yes, what is the definition of that? What, what comes to your mind? ¿Qué se les ocurre about reputation? Mira. Ok, what else? Cuando dicen, it has a good reputation, bad reputation. Why do they say that? ¿Por qué la gente dice eso? It's what the people know of our of a company. Okay. I like it. Can, it, can be, it can be good or bad. Mm -hmm. Good reputation or bad reputation. So it's what people believe, right? Good. It was what people believe, lo que ellos creen. Okay? Mm. That's repeat, what they see, what they perceive, lo que ellos perciben. It can be good or bad repetition, okay? Nice, okay. So, tomémonos unos tres minutos e iniciemos. Let's start. El propósito de esta, the purpose of this activity is that we use, that we use the passive voice. Ese es el propósito. Empecemos la passive voice. Empecemos, pensemos en la compañía por la que se están. Escriban de la reputation. Mi compañía es conocida por la, ser la mejor. 
es percibida, es vista, es clasificada. You talk, you talk, ¿ok? Y algunas otras ideas. Three minutes. A ver cuánto, por lo menos unas dos líneas acá. Two lines. One more minute, at least one or two sentences. Okay, well, I know that you are inspired and uh, you are writing about your company because you are uh, proud of being part of these companies, right? You are proud of being part of your company. Acabo de usar una, una, una preposición, proud of being part. Tomorrow, you're going to share. Today, hold it. Okay? Tomorrow, you're going to share your text. Okay? Mañana, cuando estamos compartiendo, please um, finish writing your ideas. Terminamos de escribir y mañana las compartimos. Okay? Ya se nos terminó el tiempo, solo la asistencia le voy a tomar, guys. Este día hemos hablado de la voz pasiva. Mañana retomaremos y sería siempre passive voice in present tense. Verb to be plus past participle. Okay. So, um, Ana Elizabeth. Present. Thank you. Narciso. Present teacher. Thank you. Claudia Karina. Cristina Stephanie. Present. Daniel. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Daniel. Uh, David, not here. Um, Eric Arnolto. Present teacher. Thank you, Eric. Uh, Herson. Jesus. Ruben. Present teacher. Thank you, Ruben. Present teacher. JC. Present. Linda. Present teacher. Thank you, Maria Julia. Present teacher. Thank you, Marlene. Present teacher. Thank you, Marvin. Norma. Present teacher. Thank you, Rafael. Present teacher. Thank you, Reinaldo. Present teacher. Thank you, Xiomara. Present teacher. Adrián, Georgina, Jairo, Jose. They, I think, um, Gabriela Guadalupe <laughs> did an image. <laughs> okay, yeah, Gabi. Gabriela Guadalupe, si ya le puse presente. Thank you so much. Well, it's been a pleasure to be connected these two hours. We are going to see each other uh, tomorrow. If God, you know, permits us. Have a nice night and take care. Try to rest. Bye-bye, guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Good night, everyone. Good night.